Welcome to Christ of Lindor Community Church. We are located at 5265 Alameda Drive, Suite C, in Orlando, Florida, 32808. We gather every Sunday at 1115 a.m. and we would love to have you. Same burning desire, the same burning fire. My, my granddaughter, she's going to be a lawyer. Yeah. She ain't changed her song. Yeah. See, the only time you don't get what God got for you is when you start singing something different. Right. Amen. Amen. Quit changing your song so much. I'm up today, I'm down tomorrow, yeah. I'm in today, out tomorrow. God said, what, what, what are you going to say to me? Yeah. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. God wants us to sing the same song. He don't want us to change our tune because he's not going to change his listening here. Yes. Yeah. If you want God to hear what you're saying, keep saying what you're saying. I, I preached a message and I'm, I'm closing in this. That's that message where uh, the prophet said, Alice, Lord, when it was in that great battle and they couldn't see how they were going to win and the prophet and servant was really concerned about it. He was very concerned. He said, he said Alice, our master, how are we going to fare? And the, and the prophet said to God, open his eyes that he may see. 
open his eyes because he could see nothing but failure. And my, and my thought was, let me say what I see until they see what I say. Oh, amen. Wow. Y'all get that wrong the way Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You, sometimes people are not going to see everything that you want them to see. I, I say same with joy. I, I would love to see joy with a, with a, sometimes with a, with a different type of attitude. Yeah. But she's 13. Y'all know about 13. You, you got one, don't you, uh, Sister Princess? You had one too, didn't you, Sister Laquita? It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's Jada Hills. I know she has some 13-year-old moments. Mm -hmm. All right. I know. If they're human beings. All right. yeah. I, I mean, they come up, they look like they look pretty sweet thing. Oh, she's a loving girl. <laughs> but when they're 13, Javaris, he's a counseling young man, but he was 13. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. And it, now, and you might want to get ready. That when you're hugging on the hallway, he's going to become 13. Right. And, and for some reason, when they get that age group, for some reason, you see a little change. Yeah. Yeah. You see a little transformation. Okay. Now I want to eat the food, I play the food. Sometimes they eat two plates like Elijah. <laughs> I eat the food, but I don't want to watch the plate. Right. They change on you. Oh, yes. But your prayers don't change form. Right. Yes. They can be as elevated as they want to be. And ma y'all mamas, especially y'all mama, y'all learn the dirty underwear on them children. Yes. Oh, yeah. And y'all get that on the way home, too. Amen. Yeah. Mama, they're going to love the children. Yes. Oh, yeah. Are y'all hearing me? I used to barely hate about the way that some of the kids in our family, uh, 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 they behave themselves. Because when I married my wife, had, she had three children. She had two boys and a girl. And sometimes I wondered, my God, what did God would have you done with the one that I used to see, sit at the tables on Friday night and we have family discussion? What happened to those? And all of them going in different directions. And some of them act like, I don't know what. But at the same time, the prayers never changed. I mean, you pray even though no matter how hard-headed they is or whatever they feel, you still praying for them. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, this, it's, it's just a thing about life that we can we'll never have a full solution to it because God is the only one who can give us the supreme answers that he likes. He's the only one who can do it. So I'm saying to you, whatever God said to you, just do it. Just do it. It may feel bad. I mean, you be stressed and you know how baby does when they try to come out the womb? You know how y'all mothers was when the children were kicking? Y'all ever had any kicks in your stomach? Mm -hmm. I mean, they kick to the side. They'd be like, they're going karate one day, football the next day, or playing basketball. All of a sudden, you say, ooh, and he don't put one out. Yeah. They just kick and swarm. Let them help you out. They kick out when they get birth too. Oh, yeah. But they kick in a different way. You can still feel some pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one thing is, no matter how much they get, when them babies were born, I mean, you don't have labor. Some of y'all had labor pain. Some of y'all had to have C-section. But when them babies were born, all you want to do is fall in your arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're goo goo in that mom, 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 That's the best thing. That's almost better than lemon pie. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? So you go through some things, you go through some prevailing problems and situations in your life, but that doesn't change when the birth comes out, you're going to appreciate it and you're going to give God the glory for it. Because that one child can change a whole life around for many people. That's true. We don't never know how Nate's life is going to affect somebody, how Jesus' life is going to affect somebody, how Javar's life is going to, they're going to be, they're going to come to something. We got a grandson, DJ, he wants to be one of the CIA agents. What he was. What you want to be now, DJ? Oh, he don't know now. So he don't change his mind. But at first, he wanted to work for the CIA. Yeah, that was his heart, his intent. So every day, children in that age group, they may change. But children like this one and like Nate and like Jada, they, their heart is already sealed with, this, with the vision of God. And what we want to do is encourage them to keep doing whatever God got them doing. Because all things work together for the good of those that love God that are called according to His purpose. Do you truly believe God?
God's purpose in your life is to be what you are. Amen. Are y'all hear what I'm yeah, saying? Amen. Let God work in you. Yeah. He's working it. It don't seem like it, but He's working it. Look at the name and say He's working it. No, I said He's working it. He is working it. No matter how it feels, God is working it. Hallelujah, God. Keep on working on this, God. It may not feel so, God, but keep working. It may not sound so good, but keep working. Because I believe that all things work together for good. <laughs> I believe that. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. Because Elijah was in an isolated place. He drank water from the brook that you made. And then he had food from the bird that you sent. It shows us how powerful you are. You can create something that will be our thirst quencher. And then you can command even a bird to supply what we need. And so God, these scriptures don't be relevant as they should be. But they're written for a reason. And we believe Today, God, there's a change already around the corner. We may not see it, but we'll trust in it. We just believe by faith that this house is going to be full. But thank you for filling us before you fill us with the people. And everyone that comes across that door, God, when they walk in here, let them feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then when they come in, they know that they're in a house of prayer. Creating us a clean heart and renew the right spirit in us. Let us be stronger than we ever been in the name of Jesus. Let us be humble at your feet and allow you to be the apple of our eye. And for that God, we just say thank you. Thank you for your amazing grace. And thank you for sticking closest to us and our brother. You get all the glory. You get all of the honor. And you get all of the praise. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Give God a hand. Praise. If you enjoyed today's message, please leave a like. And if you would like to hear more, please subscribe down below. If you would like to join our CODCC family, email us at CODCCORL at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you.